Hallo und willkommen zurück zur Stanley Parabel und äh, die letzten vier Teile, die habe ich gestern gespielt und alle in einem Stück. Jetzt von gestern auf heute habe ich die ähm, verarbeitet und jetzt das erste am Hochladen und ähm, habe dann auch nochmal durch die Videos geguckt, um da so eine Art Inhaltsangabe zu machen und dabei sind mir äh, zwei Sachen aufgefallen. Zum einen äh, puste ich anscheinend da ordentlich ins Mikro, wenn ich da am Lachen bin. Da habe ich mir jetzt, äh, ich habe zwar schon vorher diese Popschutzdinger gekauft, die ich da drum, äh, die ich um das Mikro machen wollte, aber die kriege ich erst in einem Monat. Jetzt habe ich mir da so mit ähm, so einer Art Swiffer-Papier, das zurechtgeschnitten und Isolierband um das Mikro geklebt, um das ein bisschen zu dämmen. Das Headset, das ist ein Game One, glaube ich. Steht da nicht drauf. Ähm, das ist zwar an sich gut, aber das Mikro ist überempfindlich und das äh, dämmt nicht gut. Deshalb, äh, sorry dafür. Und dann habe ich äh, was gesehen und zwar in diesem ähm, Museum-Dings da, dieses Developer-Level quasi unten. Da war so eine Anzeige, wo auch das Endteil gezeigt wurde, der Countdown. Und da stand äh, Rot, Gelb, Grün, Grün und 72. Das war zwar eine Early Version, aber vielleicht kann das ja dabei helfen. Ich habe dann aber jetzt auch noch im Forum geguckt, was man denn noch so im Schauen machen könnte. Und äh, klar, da hatte ich noch gesehen mit dem Erfolg, da gibt es fünfmal auf Tür 430 klicken, mal schauen. Und dann noch so ein paar Enden, die man durchgehen kann. Aber halt dieser Countdown, meinen mein die anderen Spieler, äh, da gibt es keine Lösung für. Aber es gibt halt immer auch nochmal wieder Sachen, die anscheinend noch nicht äh, komplett bekannt sind. Also vielleicht gibt es da eine Lösung für die, weiß nur keiner. Aber dafür, dass das Spiel von 2013 ist, äh, ja, schon sehr eigenartig. So, wir machen hier weiter. Jawohl. Das hier hatte ein bisschen gedauert, bis es geladen ist. Dann mache ich das hier mal weg aus meiner Liste. So, was ich auf jeden Fall, das hatte ich ja beim letzten Mal schon gesagt, machen wollte, war das Telefon zu anpluggen. Dann mit dieser mh, kaputten Realität, wo der uns quasi zwingt, nochmal ins Chefs Office zu gehen und schauen, ob sich da was geändert hat. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Mm, da haben wir schon wieder was Neues. Da habe ich auch gesehen, äh, da gab es was mit aus dem Fenster springen. Ich wüsste aber jetzt nicht, wo da ein Fenster war. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Was ich auch noch gesehen habe, ist äh, 400. Ähm, wenn man auf den Lift geht und wieder runterspringt. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Niemals. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Äh, das war nicht der Plan. Da bin ich ein bisschen zu spät anscheinend gelaufen. 
all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Links rum. Inputs, okay, so soll in einer Playstation anscheinend machen. Es bringt diese Spielstand speichern da auch nicht viel. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've no. got not... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Da. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Das ist dann aber schon sehr eng dort. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Four hundred thirty. Das hier. Zwei. Drei. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hm, aber aufgeploppt ist es nicht. Hm, I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 <laughs> clicks. Keine Ahnung, ob die mit dieser... No, no I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417? What happens when I go further? Four one seven. Yeah. Oh, great. Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Also es ist nicht das, das Geklackere, was zählt, sondern tatsächlich die Klicks. Von daher, wenn man da mit der Maus rumzittert, sage ich mal, da kriegt man auch schnell die 1000 zusammen. 437. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, 
Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an upcoming Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. 437, schreibe ich mal auf. Hm, das haben wir aber auch mal aufbekommen. Vielleicht jetzt erst. Strange. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk, Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Ja, da haben sie das doch. Äh, also die einzelnen Runs werden äh, nicht mit dem Safe Game mitgespeichert, weil das ja hat man die ganze Zeit über. And rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Das hat man die ganze Zeit über ja nicht machen müssen. hier sind. Gucken wir uns noch mal dieses Ding da an. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ja, das kennen wir. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Mm. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, 
All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let Come it go, on. turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little what? more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Get. It's your time to shine. Win. You are the star. Win. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until uh. the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me. Where we go. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? Nah. All right, I'm in a good uh, mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, Vielleicht or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Sein. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea nicht. what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Da oben sind auf jeden Fall Türen. Hm. 
Na gut, dann probieren wir das jetzt mal weiter mit dem Aufzug. Ach so, was waren sie? Alles Coworkers were. Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? 437 Ah, funktioniert nicht. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. I would. I might. Hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes. Almost certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Jawohl. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Now, back to door number 437. <laughs> Let's see, how about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Yeah. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! <laughs> Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! <laughs> oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Sehr schön. Dann probieren wir das mit dem Lift nochmal. Und Stanley kam zu einem Set von zwei offenen Doppel. Das war nicht der richtige Weg zum Meetingraum. Und Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the Employee Lounge first, just to admire it. The Lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, 
or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Uh... Come on. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it! Do it! <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Kommt man nicht hoch? Ja, ich fürchte, da hat man jetzt nicht so die Riesenwahl. Wo springen wir hin? Aufs Auto. Geht nicht. Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling was, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Mm, Habe ich nichts übersehen? That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. 
Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Na, die werde ich aber jetzt wegklicken. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. You can't for example, jump. in this scenario, a hypothetical mm. real person named Steven has a choice. He could spend years helping wegklicken. improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. Zurück in die Lounge. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Werde ich jetzt zurückgesetzt? Hm. 
Na, komm schon. Beim letzten Mal hat es ja einmal einen Ladebildschirm gegeben und dann bin ich einfach wieder zurückgeflutscht. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story you've destroyed my work why for what what did you get out of that what did you think was so special about seeing the game undone left here like so much garbage it well it's worthless now and what am I supposed to do even if there were a way to continue would it be worth it to know that my story is now incorrect how can I go back to that I can't erase that knowledge I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hello. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Ah, okay, here we're once the cassettes. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Geschlossen jetzt. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Da kann man auch nicht irgendwie runter. Also war jetzt das andere Office. Und äh, beim ersten Mal hatte ich hier einfach nur gewartet und damit ist er in den Wahnsinn gegangen. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. 
and beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Wenn man Night Shark 115. Wenn man he spoke it into the receiver könnte. right there on the wall. Ich fürchte, das ist so festgesetzt, dass man das nicht kann. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Hmm. Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for I you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Hmm. Na gut, das war auch nix. He came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Da ging nix mehr. Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Nia. Dann haben wir noch, ähm, das eine ist zufallsbedingt, da steht, wenn man hier in einen blauen Raum reingeht. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Da ist aber nichts mit... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, nehmen wir das noch mal mit dem Boss. Und dann kann man anscheinend innerhalb von dem Raum direkt wieder raus. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Vielleicht kommen wir jetzt hier rein. Aha. Aha. Da lässt sich aber nichts tun.
Dum dum. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Ach, da. Ne, jetzt habe ich selber verplant. Ich hätte da wieder rausgehen müssen. Na gut, dann, äh, Kann ich aber auch begin äh, the game again machen. So All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Jetzt hoffe ich, dass er nicht auch den Code zurückgesetzt hat. Zweimal hat er schon eingegeben. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ah, oh, okay. Boop. Here's the door. Yeah. Das sieht irgendwie mehr kaputt aus. Oder ungewollt. Der Sprecher sagt nichts mehr. So seltsam, dass hier alles offen ist. Hm, bis hier zumindest. Ja. Da ist nüscht. Das ist mehr backt als äh als ein tatsächliches Ende. Da können wir nur manuell neu starten. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Müssen noch einmal was eingeben. Sollte vor dem Boss noch ein Computer sein, wo wir eben auch schon mal waren. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Aha, das ist aber auch etwas unüblich. Hm. 
aber nichts. Na dann, schreiten wir fort. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Jawohl. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Aha. Ne, da kann man dieses Mal nichts eingeben. Das ist also auch Zufall. Einmal müssen wir es noch finden. Zum Eingeben. Ähm, dann würde ich hier einfach wieder neu starten, weil das macht halt keinen Sinn. Hier dieses Ende nochmal zu machen. Begin the game again. Können wir das mit den Türen noch mal schauen, wo diese All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Äh, wo diese rote und blaue Tür war, wo dann später die orangene Tür war, dann in die orangene reingehen. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Dazu mussten wir da, glaube ich, runterspringen. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Na, dann probieren wir das mal. 
Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm not a real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Da haben wir die Highscore wieder. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Da können wir glaube ich auch mal das Baby retten. The baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Grausamer Sound. Ich fürchte, wir haben keine andere Wahl. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Und hier kann man sich anscheinend irgendwie stacken. Ach nee, das ist... Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you always nächste. desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. <laughs> Na gut. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. 
Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. So, hier müssten wir uns stacken können. Ich bin auch schon wieder über die Stunde drüber. <lacht> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Wobei ich nicht weiß, wie das geht. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forte. Mal vielleicht anders machen müssen, um sich zu stacken. Weiß ich nicht. Ich sehe jetzt zumindest keine Möglichkeit. liegen. Werfen kann man das Ding nicht. Ah, wenn man das seitlich macht, damit kann man das beschleunigen. Aber... Das ist immer gerade. Das kriegen wir sicher da rausgeworfen. Wie kriegt man das denn am weitesten geworfen?
Vielleicht ein bisschen nach oben. Bisschen. Das kullert nicht. Ich glaube, da ist der Raum zu breit für... Es reicht alles nicht. Über diesmal weit geworfen. Hätte ich natürlich auch aufmachen sollen. Wenn man nur springen könnte. zu kurz. Ne, nee, das kriege ich nicht hin. Hätte ich mir vielleicht vorher ansehen sollen, wie man das macht. Äh, ich bin da jedenfalls wieder zu blöd für. Oder es geht ganz anders.
Ne, ich krieg's nicht. Na. Doch, das geht. Aber da muss man schon... Äh, das war nichts. Aber... Bei mir wird's nichts. <lacht> nee, ich geb's auf. Noch ein. Noch ein. Noch ein. Na, dann gehe ich da durch. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolution... Ja, uh, gut, wobei, hier geht's ja dann auch wieder normal mit diesem, uh, Dings, uh, Ende weiter, also das wird jetzt gar nicht viel nutzen. Ähm, dann starte ich mal neu. Dann müsste man noch dieses eine Ding finden. Das eine, was man eingeben kann. Und dann hätten wir, glaube ich, alles. Und das mit dem Blue Room, was ich da noch gesehen hatte. Aber da weiß ich nicht, wie stark man das provozieren können. Die Sachen probieren wir jedenfalls beim nächsten Mal aus. Äh, ja, dann sage ich mal, bis denn.